Hello everyone. Stop idea, deep dive into the power of one. We were talking about change and how to deal with change in the context of goal setting. And here I'm bringing the concept of the power of one now, maybe as a way to deal with change. And here is what this is about. I very strongly believe that the why, what, and how of change is looking at and defining and agreeing upon a vision. And a vision is something that is maybe not touchable. It's um, a picture you have in mind, um, a future situation that you're going towards. How can you describe that vision that you have with creating that product and service? What's the vision behind your idea? And what is a vision now? Let's define that. It's the description of a desired state. Um, it's like a well-crafted declaration of where you want to go. It could be a picture that you, uh, you paint that you can communicate to your team members, to a bigger community or a society, and you describe this um, picture or these conditions that you want to uh, create, even in terms of growth and values that, that are um, ingrained or integrated in that vision in a future point in time, five, 10, or even more years. It should serve you as a compass, as a direction that everybody that is involved, your team members can align upon because you need to get from A to B in a way where everybody goes together, right? It's not like there's 15 different ways of getting from A to B. That would be individual paths, but you are having the task here to work together as, as a power of one organism uh, to get from that A to B together because all the skills of the people coming along with you are needed. You have a vision and you also have a mission. What's the mission now? A mission is now describing how to do this, how to get to this vision, how on an operational level can you carry this out? Very closely um, related to objectives. It's again a statement, maybe also a strategy where you can make this vision a reality, but it's not from the standpoint of your team, what you're you know, trying to create, but it's from the standpoint of that customer, that market, the users, the people who benefit from you um, reaching your vision. There's three key questions for you to define this mission. What is it that you do? How do you do it? And for whom are you doing it? And then there is an even bigger I don't know how to even say that. How to define the word purpose? Um, the easiest one is the why, but I would say the purpose um, of a product or service, a project. A purpose of life is just something much more bigger than uh, than anything. It's maybe the the meaning of uh, of life, or it's it's the meaning that's behind uh, what it is that's driving you. How can we define purpose? The object towards which one strives, and for which something exists, an aim or a goal or an intention. Um, see, it's, it's really hard to define this, this purpose and the same words are used that we have been using throughout this session now. Um, important is that purpose 
you know, is, is different again from his vision and mission because it is talking about something uh, functional and something useful. Now, an example, uh, what could it be? A lot of uh, the ideas are always around platforms. So there's one here, we want to be a platform for people to accomplish their personal and professional goals. Very, very big um, picture you get in your mind. Um, you don't really know um, what's behind that, but so products and services are not defined, but it talks about what people achieve. They accomplish their personal and professional goals. Now, these are several topics now. We have talked about vision, mission, message. No message we have not talked about, but I'm introducing this here now. So let's start at the um, bottom here. And I'm opening all of the definitions for you here. A message is something really, really easy. If somebody asks you, hey, what do you do? This answer, um, that you give people or a group of people that are asking you is the message. The mission is an activity you do. Like we have come through this now, we are you know, defining what it is we do to get there. The vision is the desired future state. And the purpose is the why, why we are doing this. Let me give you an example again here. That was from a team um, that was creating virtual reality uh, technology to never miss their favorite soccer club's game. So the message would be here to attend a match of your favorite soccer game. The mission is to give you the tools to watch a soccer match virtually. The vision then, this desired future state, is to never miss a match of your favorite soccer club. Now jumping to the purpose as the biggest um, term here. And this is where it becomes really big now. We have the technology to make virtual just as real as a live attendance. Thank you very much for coming there. And this is now, of course, a topic that we need to dive more into and I know there's lots of questions here so please write down your questions here we will work upon this together uh, to define this for your product or service.